Rated T for Teen. Teamwork is very important uh, in Enslaved. What we didn't want to do is end up with a game that was an escort mission for the entirety of it. Teamwork is crucial to the game uh, because there are situations that you encounter where perhaps Monkey could traverse it but Trip couldn't, um, or vice versa. And so you, you need to work out how to get through the environment without killing Trip because that'll kill you. So it's very important that the, the two characters work together to overcome the obstacles. And each of them brings a unique talent or ability to, to help solve the problems. Monkey is able to pick Trip up and literally throw her up to higher levels where she can then go and access the door or drop something down for Monkey to then climb up. Monkey is very much a fighter. He's more about just attacking and protecting Trip, which is his main mission. And Trip is there to be protected, but also she's got technical abilities that are way beyond Monkey. She can identify faults in some of the robots that Monkey encounters. And if Monkey uses that fault, he can, say, rip off one of the arms of the scouts and turn that scout into walking bomb, which he then throws into a number of other robots and causes massive destruction. Monkey does the fighting, the clambering, the, the kind of violent action, and Trip does the reprogramming of technology, doing strategic reconnaissance, and, and basically together they work as a team. A lot of the puzzles are, are not completely obvious. They're kind of like buried within the apocalyptic environment and through explorations they start to understand what strengths each character has in order to enable them to overcome the puzzles. It's a puzzle you can believe, you know, it's not some strange thing. I think that's going to make it a lot more memorable because you're going to actually go, ah, you know, it's almost, you don't realise it's a puzzle until you're halfway through it and you understand, OK, I've now I've got to do this, and I've got to do this, and it comes together. So in this world, the war ended about 50 or so years ago. There are mechs still around that will activate it if you trip them. These are mechs that have been left over from wars long ago, where they uh, pretty much destroyed all of humanity. And this is analogous to landmines, like in places like Cambodia and so forth. So they're still killing thousands of people, even though the war was over decades ago. As soon as they detect any kind of human presence, they're, they're going to reactivate and go through their old programming, which is literally to kill. There's a range of different enemies. I think probably my favourite enemy is the dog. And we say dog, it's not small, it's huge and very frightening, and it's a hunter-killer. The mechs will begin to learn if you start using the same attack patterns over and over. The mechs will adapt to that. They will start blocking more if you're attacking in a certain way. So you need to explore the different combos that Monkey has. Um, we have to use the environment to manoeuvre yourself around. It's a tactical gameplay. There's certain types of mechs that have a uh, weakness that Monkey can exploit, and if, he, if he's able to manipulate the combat in such a way to take on that mech, he can then actually change the battlefield quite dramatically in, a, in an instant. One or two, they can handle fairly comfortably, but as soon as you add in different types of enemies, like combinations of enemies or greater numbers of enemies, the player is really up against the wall here. One can't actually get through this journey without the other. 